making a classic is difficult to pull off right. Recently, Beauty and the Beast came very close in many ways to the original. Now we have another animation classic being remade into live action. Ghost in the Shell has a real chance of being something unique, compelling, and memorable. The original is an anime and therefore Japanese, thus made for that audience. Therefore, this American version might have a new perspective to offer. Sadly, this new perspective turns out to be a dumbed-down one. Ghost in the Shell 2017 flounders in its inability to understand the source material. In the world of Ghost in the Shell, any version, technology has reached a point where any human body part can be upgraded. The resultant population lives in varying degrees with cybernetics. People who are fully human still exist, but they are a rarity. In their essence, the setups of the two movies parallel closely. How they follow up on that is quite different. The original focuses on asking questions. The remake seems to feel the need to answer those questions for the audience. I was looking for an answer. It's the question that drives us near. The main protagonist in the films is the Major, here portrayed by Scarlett Johansson, who is a brain in a fully robotic body. Because of this, she questions whether or not she's still human. In the original, while the Major is the main character, her partner, Bato, is the heart of the movie. It's his unwavering confidence in the Major's humanity despite her soul-rendering doubts that provides the audience perspective. Sometimes I suspect I'm not who I think I am. Like maybe I died a long time ago and somebody took my brain and stuck it in this body. It sounds to me like you're doubting your own ghost. What if a cyberbrain could possibly generate its own ghost, create a soul all by itself? And if it did, just what would be the importance of being human then? Hmm. That's bullshit. Thus, the audience senses that the Major is good and empathizes with Bato's belief in her. In the remake, Bato exists because he was written in the original. His perspective fades into background noise. Instead, the Major seems to be the heart of the piece. She clearly has emotions and concerns and is desperately wanting to cling to her soul, or ghost, so she can be human. Problem is, by handling it this way, there's no question for the audience to weigh. Clearly, she is still human. Even if she doubts it, the audience does not. Another issue this presents is that it forces Johansson to play a role that requires showing emotion while being as emotionless as possible. It's a tricky balancing act that she handles fine, but the end result is a movie whose heart is as emotionless as possible. Kudos to the filmmakers for how well the movie maintains the aesthetic of the anime classic. Nevertheless, it fails to understand what was at the heart of the movie and what made it a classic. Perhaps the simpler title, Empty Shell, will fit the remake better. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 